Redditors who lost a romantic partner to an illness, suicide, or accident, what was your first relationship after their death like? Bunch of bad ones because I had trouble committing to something that I knew to be impermanent. It was my fault and I know my so that past wouldn't have wanted me to be like that. But I was, I was mean to nice women, distant to ladies that wanted more. I missed out on a lot and I regret not being more vulnerable. My so when I was 20 died in a motorcycle accident. The first relationship I had after that sucked. I had, and still have, pretty severe abandonment issues and my boyfriend after him could not handle that. He cheated a couple of times, then broke up with me and ended up getting married about a year later. It took me a while to get over. However, I am about to get married to someone who recognizes my issues and knows how to deal with them. I realized that I need to be open and honest about how I'm feeling and that communication is key. My ex-boyfriend killed himself a year or two after we broke up. He was going to college across the country and emotionally abusive towards me. Tried contacting me on Christmas Eve, I ignored it and then the next day my friends started calling me but refused to tell me what happened until they saw me. I had a very hard time trusting anyone and distanced myself from most people. I had a short fling thing with a guy but neither of us wanted a real relationship and then met the one I'm with now a year later. Current one is absolutely amazing and I trust him wholeheartedly. Deleted. X died of an overdose. I was pretty devastated because we were on and off I always figured we'd get back together. My next relationship, BF was really understanding and was okay with the fact that I had pictures up of my ex. We actually had a mutual friend that knew my ex. That relationship was based off partying so I don't think I've ever dealt with the feelings I just needed someone there to comfort me and I was choosing to deal with it unhealthily, drugs slash alcohol. I would basically just ramble about how much I missed him, do more drugs and that was basically the cycle for a year. A lot better now though. My husband took his own life two years ago. We had had 12 happy years. I never expected to find anyone else and wasn't looking. But a handsome, smart, kind Canadian guy is my boyfriend now and, although we are working out differences in culture and age, he is 30 and I am a lot older, it is wonderful. Just taking things slowly. My dear boyfriend passed away in an accident two years ago and I haven't dated since. I am trying to emotionally fix myself first before I date again, and at this point I think I would still be comparing the new person to him, which is unfair. I lost an amazing man to suicide. It was a few years before I felt comfortable even dating. When I finally did it was a huge challenge for me to not compare them to the one I lost, and there were a lot of good guys I dropped because they just weren't him. I'm married now and my husband is actually very different from my late partner which has been a contrast but in a very beautiful way. It's nice to be able to recognize that I moved past trying to replace him or find his match and instead find someone for who they are. This is only half the answer, my husband died in December. I'm technically poly, but I still can't imagine being with anyone else. I'm just sort of waiting for my turn. I've seen a lot of people start dating 2 to 6 months after their loss and I feel like that's a terrible idea. I've lost 2, sadly. The first was when I was 18, she was hit by a car. The first relationship was odd, but I was young and managed to bounce back. The second was a little different, I was dating this girl 2 years ago and we decided to be friends due to the distance factor. We remained friends right up until the end, she succumbed to an infection during surgery. I currently have a partner and had one when she passed away. I felt devastated that she was gone and guilty because I felt devastated. Since I have a partner now, it's a strange combination. Advice for anyone who goes through this, coming from a guy with a double fucking whammy, just because one life ceases to be doesn't mean another has to, carry on. Be happy and take your memories of them with you, because you owe them that much. I've lost several. It's like I'm cursed. I've given up on getting attached and just live in the past now. Deleted. Reminded me too much of her. Kinda ran away. I apologized and explained a little bit of it, not the whole truth, 
but so that she would know that it wasn't her fault and she deserved better. Let's see, I lost him five years ago and every day is hard without him. Dating wasn't easy at first, I was very shut off from any type of romance. I waited about four years before I started dating. I met this guy, who seemed so nice. Long story short, after a few months, he tried to emotionally abuse and manipulate me, I saw the signs and ended things. He didn't like that, he wanted to be the one in charge and started stalking me. But I stayed strong and finally got away from him. I thank my deceased so for me being strong in dealing with that. I feel that if I had started dating any sooner, I wouldn't have been strong enough to see those red flags. I'm still learning to live life without so but. I knew the moment I met him that he was it, that feeling was a once in a lifetime and I'll never feel it again. I am dating someone new, he seems nice and things are going well. So I'm gonna give it a shot, wish me luck. So. I lost my boyfriend in January to suicide. Thought for a while I would go a full year celibate, but that hasn't really worked out. Still not really back in the dating scene, but I'll share a couple stories. Two weeks after Michael left I met a guy at a party and decided I would go home with him to try and make myself feel better. Ended up having a full-blown panic attack at the train station in front of a stranger. Thus began my celibacy pledge. As more time has passed I've sought comfort in old lovers with whom I've maintained friendships. We all have bodily needs, and they are people I feel comfortable being with. I think even meaningless sex can be an expression of love in a certain way. Don't really have a set timeline anymore as to when I'll start dating again. I don't have any dating apps installed on my phone or anything. Honestly, it's not a huge priority for me right now but it would be nice to have someone to talk intimately with again. Recently started a new job. Met a new guy there and there's some fun flirtatious energy, considering asking him out for a drink. It's all a process. Love and hugs to all the others in here touched by loss. XOXO. I lost my ex to suicide, the first relationship after was very intense. I thought I was really in love with him. I think because he lived several states over it was an escape to my life and dealing with my surroundings. However the trauma at dealing with something like that at 18 coupled with alcoholism led me down to some awful relationships. I was always so paranoid my soul would die. I still struggle with that. I, I took my abusive ex back. She proceeded to destroy me emotionally, with, among other things, threatening to kill herself if we broke up again threatening to tell the cops that I raped her if we broke up, and made me promise almost every other day that I loved her more than my now dead ex, because I love that bitch more than you love me. Six months after she died I met the most incredible person I have ever met. It was literally love at first sight and has never ended. She was also widowed, we are the same age, and we both had no children. We got married ten months after we met and have been married over three years. We are as in love today as we ever were and have a pretty perfect relationship, or as close to it as humanly possible. I took a lot of shit for meeting and marrying someone so soon, but honestly as cheesy as it sounds, you can't help who you love and when you love them. It just is what it is. I'm 53, and my wife passed from pancreatic cancer in July. Even though she told me she wanted me to remarry, I just can't see it happening. Overwhelming guilt. He died in a traffic accident when I was 18, along with my raised like sister's cousin. I hadn't come home that weekend from work as I was trying to catch up on a work backlog so guilt was a big component but I bounced to an older more stable man who fairly quickly started isolating me from the rest of my family. First time he actually hit me I left and spun into a relationship with a friend's brother. I was quiet and sweet and agreeable for a couple of years until I actually healed from all the trauma. Completely not his fault, but he really didn't like the real, mouthy me, and I wasn't prepared to spend my life pretending to be this ghost of a person I had been so we split up. Took another couple of years before I met my husband and we've been together over 20 years now. It's not just the next one you need to worry about but actually healing from any trauma before you compound it. 
Looking back I acted like I was a live pinball for a few years after the accident. There wasn't, and hasn't been. I prefer it this way, 